It's a new independence for Bharti Kalra. Working at the National Association for the Blind, as a computer teacher, she was one of the first users of the smart cane. The 24-year-old has 100% blindness and earlier needed help to navigate her way to the office. But the new cane she now uses comes with a device that sends out ultrasonic waves to detect objects above knee level, which means that she can detect things or people before hitting into them. The stick vibrates to prevent her from tripping, says Bharti. Even if I'm alone, I feel more confident about my walking speed is increased and I prefer walk, walking alone. I stop taking like, I am stop dependent uh, on my parents or to other small vehicles to drop me at home. Angle adjustment coming to the Designed by the Indian Institute of Technology in Delhi, the smart cane is the cheapest cane of its kind. The ultrasonic device can be fixed on top of existing white canes, reducing its cost considerably. It's priced at 3,000 rupees or $50. While the closest product in this category is the ultra cane priced at $1,000. Specifically, we have one device that... I met up with Professor Balakrishnan, who is heading the project at the IIT in Delhi, and began by asking him about the advantages of the smart cane. For Indian usage, one of the things that we looked at is if the canes get broken, we don't still have to replace the device. The device is actually fixed on the top uh, segment of the white cane. It's a foldable cane, so yeah, it's in segments. In the top fold of the white cane, you have this device fitted. And what really happens is even if the cane is broken, we can detach it and fix it onto another cane. Canes themselves being rather inexpensive, so this actually works out very convenient for the users. How many users do you already have? You've just launched it three months ago. And what kind of orders do you have? So presently we have 1,500 users all over the country. This is apart from 150 users who are part of the trials. You know, the, to establish the functional validation of this product, we went around six different sites, 150 users. After that, we have 1,500 users who have actually either purchased or received this through donations. Do you have the resources to take this product from your lab to the market? By ourselves, like IIT Delhi, definitely we don't have the capability. So we were instrumental in both designing the product as well as doing the prototypes and also the initial part where we could get the product you know, tested. The whole project, the translational research, after we have demonstrated the lab prototype, actually came through Welcome Trust UK, a charity based in UK. They funded this project under affordable healthcare. So their funding was really, I would say, very, very generous in the sense that they were very clear that they wanted a quality product out. So whatever was required for that quality product, they funded us. Uh, only constraint they kept on putting us on the affordability part which has really helped us because we finally have got a product which is very affordable.